of the hot topics these days is hospital infection control. Have you ever thought how your mobile x-ray system can support you in increasing hygiene and decreasing the costs associated with this infection? With the Mobile Admira Max, you have a very compact system which is designed for easy cleaning. It has everything you need, but no additional slots or crevices where bacteria can hide in. It has very smooth material and the disinfection comes right with it and it's very easy to clean because there are also no cables and nothing which is not really necessary. The mobile x-ray system mobility is key. The mobile Admira Max is very easy to maneuver and you can walk over long distances very easily. You have a lot of room for your legs, you don't hit your knees or the detectors and it's very easy to drive because it's so light. And it's also good for small rooms where you have to position the system near your patient. With the Mobile Admira Max, you can reduce the complication rate in your IC because you have max image quality within seconds. The basis for this is the Max detectors. Here we have the Max White. It's a very light, thin detector with a handle and it, can be auto, it will be automatically charged in the system. And we have the Max Mini, the right size detector for extremities and incubators. And it can be safely and easily shared and swapped with our radiography system, the Easio Max, and our fluoroscopy system, the Luminous Agile Max, and the Luminous DIF Max. So this is the Mobile Aviera Max, your mobile imaging companion for fast and reliable results tough circumstances.
portable sort of tips and tricks that might help you um, to work in the portable itself. And then also what you can use whenever you're kind of in a tight space and can't really get around, but you still have full functionality of the machine itself. So I'm sure you're aware this is your drive. It is a dead one switch, so you just let off, you can't move it. Okay. That's for safety purposes. To release uh, the uh, tube, you have to push these buttons and you heard it release. Um, and you saw this little blue light come on, right? And so now you're able to freely move the tower itself, the arm. So if you run into a time where you cannot release this, you hit this button and it's locked, it's locked, you can't get it. There's actually a release in the back. Right here on the back sort of of this uh, part position, there's a release here. And you push it down and it releases up. Okay, so sometimes that does happen um, even to, to myself using a portable, so this is a really easy way to say like, man, it's just not unlocking, that I can easily unlock it there. And sometimes they are a little um, hard to push down, but it will release the, the tower of the tube. Okay, so in order to move the machine itself too, you have to enable these buttons, okay? So we're gonna move it over, just like before, right? Your collimator light button is this light button here. If you hit it, you're going to see the light here, just as you see. Um, as you can see, the collimator dimensions are here. Easy to use, easy to manipulate. Um, the tape measure is located here on the side of the Shimatsu portable. Very easy and handy to use. Um, if you are in a tight space and you're um, at a point where like, you know what, I just need a couple more inches, but I just can't get over there. Like there's people in the room, something might be happening. You actually have drives on the machine itself. And there are these two top buttons. I'm sure you've been wondering what they are. If you actually hit them, you can drive the portable forwards incrementally. It's very small, very slow. So you're not gonna take anybody out. You're not gonna hit anything too hard. And then also you can drive it backwards. I'm just holding, I'm not even pushing. Okay, so again, in those little incremental movements that you know what, I just need a little bit more, but you don't want to do this or you can't do this, um, you're able to do this here. Very, very simple. Nice and smooth. Okay, now if I'm in a position where I'm actually across the room and I still need to be able to uh, get to my tube, so I'm going to reorient this one there. So if I'm all the way extended out and I just can't get to that side of the room and I still need to move it forward, there is a button here. You're able to push this button here on the inside. You're able to extend and pull back. And you can move this way. Very easy. Again, slow, incremental. You actually have to drive this. It's not an automatic drive that you saw with the other buttons, but it is very handy again if you can't get to the other side of the so. With that, um, now we're going to talk about the angulation. Um, there are two different angulation sets um, and meters that you'll find on your portable. Um, right here is one, and it's very helpful to know that you're at a uh, perpendicular beam here to a table or a desk or whatever you might be taking your x-rays on. Um, and if you need any sort of angle, you easily can just push the collimators uh, leaves this way and then you see that you're, you're changing your angle here, okay? There's also another set of angulation meters here. And we reviewed it in our knee x-ray videos. It's right here. So this is actually the tube, the whole tube angulation itself here, okay? All right, if you are taking an x-ray and you turn this and you notice that this is just falling, it's not really staying, okay? There are little screws right here that will actually tighten this up. So if you have that problem and it's not really staying in the position that you want it, it's a little tighter, okay? It tightens it up. Now just be cautious, this can easily fall out so if it's really, really loose, just be careful, it will fall out. And if you see this on the floor, just remember it's, that's where that's where it goes, okay? <laughs> and it's very important because your tube will just fall and you won't be able to take your x-rays effectively. Okay? What else? Kind of like 
that's kind of the overview of the portal itself. Um, you guys, I, I'm assuming, are very familiar with the on-off buttons on here. Um, and then also your technique buttons here on the platform. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us.